Hey, have you ever done a reverse French? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> but no idea. I'm going to show Katie how to do a reverse French. Let's get started. So Katie is a musician. And yeah. I'm introducing you right off so they understand your skill level. Yes. So she's a musician by trade, but she has a great passion for nails as well. I do. Started doing nails a couple of years ago with COVID, right? Mm-hmm. And she has never done the reverse French. So we were talking about it, and I thought, that's what we're going to do today. We'll just take one nail and really break it down on showing you how to do the reverse French. I'm excited. It's very different. It's very different. It's very weird. Have you done the traditional French? Where you... Traditional oh, French. Okay. I, I like to wear the traditional French with a nice deep smile line. That's sort mm -hmm. of my go-to. And you do that with your hybrid gel or poly yes. gel people? Poly gel. Poly gel. Yep. And how long does it take you to do a set to do that? Oh, if I'm doing a traditional French, that probably takes me just under four hours to do on myself. Okay, that is completely normal. Yes. Even though she's been doing it for two years, but she's just doing it on herself. She's teaching herself via YouTube. Yes, <laughs> I watched all your videos. Right, that's great. And she's doing really well. I did learn. You really can learn online. You really can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's doing amazing. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is establish where our French line is going to be. Okay. Do you like, a, you mentioned, a deep smile line. I do you like, like a that. deep smile okay. line. They're a little harder to do. Well, I go big or go home. That's right. So we're going to attack it. <laughs> okay. So the best way I can do is I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to draw on your nail okay. where you're going to e-file because you can't really do this with a hand file. No. If you're going to, you just don't cut out the French line. Right. We already have a nail on here. So this is an existing nail we're going to turn into a reverse French. When you're doing a reverse French, you've got to cut that line in first. So we're going to do that with an e-file. You can't do it with a hand file. If you do it with a hand file, you have to remove the nail completely, just flatten it right down. Mm -hmm. But if you have an existing nail, we can cut into it with a very specific French cut bit. And that's what I'm going to show you. Yes. But you do have some drill skills. I do have some yeah. drill skills. And I'm discussing that just showing you what level. So if you're brand new at this, just watch it. Don't do the cut in bit right, right. away. You want to get some experience with that first. Okay, so... I'm going to draw where you're going to pick up that drill and do the re cut in with that thing. And I'll okay. give you some tips on how to do that, too. All right. You want to do the index finger? Is that what you're I think that's what we're doing, yeah. Okay. So when you do this, you have a choice to have an elongated nail plate mm -hmm. or keep it quite shallow. That means a shorter nail plate with the pink part. Right. Or a little bit elongated. What kind of look do you like? It's very specific. I like the elongated look. Okay. so you, like, Because I have short hands, so I like okay. to try and yeah. make myself I, lengthen right 100% right. agree. That's mm -hmm. very aesthetic. Mm -hmm. um, but you, when you do that, if it's this long, now you can make it longer, but if we're going to keep this length, you'll just have a less white. Right. But it looks very beautiful. It it's does. very dainty. I love it. It does. Okay, so we're going to go with an elongated nail bed. Okay. Nail plate. So we want to figure out the point of how long we want it. So let's go like here. Make it really dainty on the end. Mm -hmm. We can extend it too if we like. And we can also change that. Now, when we bring up the white points on either side, like the smile line, mm -hmm. we want to have them matching. Yes. So you do it on this side, should draw a line to match this side. So we want to do a little dot. That's how the high point. We can go higher if we want. Let's just do it right there. Mm -hmm. And then we want to do matching on the same side. Right there. Okay. Then we want to draw these lines together. That is approximately how deep you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this angle is not working for me. Okay, that's approximately you're going to dig it. Cool. Okay, I drew that too so you can see and then they can see. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to pick up the drill. Here we go. All right. So you've worked with the French cut bit before. Yes. So you know a little what you're doing. So I'm just going to let you go for it. Sure. And the best thing to do is I watch somebody... And then, because everybody had, comes at it at a different skill level, mm -hmm. and then I'll just make any little advice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. Go all for right. it. All right. I don't know how to use this drill. It's the first time I've used Susie's drill. They're all the same, basically. They have a little turn on button. So is that it? Yeah. So just turn it oh, on. Oh, here we go. Find the RPMs that you're comfortable with. Probably right there, I think. Or is that too fast? I don't know. Are you yet. asking me? Because I don't I'm want to solicit you. any information. I'm She's not ready. You. I, I think know. it's too high. You think it's too yeah. high? Yeah. And the reason being, it's not too high when you want to remove, remove product. Oh, okay. But it's too high if you're starting on the side corner, which was where you should start. On the side, it can be you a little You start on close. the side corner. You don't have to. I start on the tips. Is that again? I'm a, supposed to just watch you. I'm just going to let you. I'm, gonna I'm let just you fascinated. It that's could where be you a good start. way. You have your own style. I Everybody develops their own style, and I like to nurture that. Okay. So you go for it. All right, I'm going for it. I like to start on the point. Yeah. And then come in 
So that I can match up. Yeah, sort of what I did when I drew the dots. Yeah. You know, we started there. Yeah, that's fine. It's easy to slip, so I go slow. Yep. Isn't that a great bit, though? It's Just a great bit. Just cuts right in. And you did a video on this before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I had to I had to wait two weeks for this bit to get to me because I'm on back order. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, can I stop you for one second? Yep. You know what I love what you're doing right now? What's that? Your little pinky is supporting what you're doing. Oh, yes. Oh, you have to be able to. Yeah. Brilliant. Nice clean. You're doing a really nice clean edge. It's fantastic. Thank you. It's different doing it on camera. It is, isn't it? It's a Very whole other different. thing to learn. But you're doing really good though. Oh, thank you. And then I'm taking some of this off, right? Am do I? you normally? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And yeah. why do you do that? Um, that's a good question. Why do I do that? You're on the right track. I'm just wondering if you know why you should be doing that. I don't know. Okay. I just, okay. I take it off, I think, to make sure that there's no discoloration when I put on more product because yes. I've already used my hands. Yeah. So. so I liken it to layers of sheets and blankets on a bed. Yeah. So when you take it down, you do want to take it down a little, at least a half. Right. Because when you lay the new layer, you don't want to be wobbly about it that you take down just a little bit and the end is high because when you put the new stuff on, the colors exactly might right. not blend. Okay. So you do want to take down an even layer so you're laying an even blanket on top and it looks nice and smooth. Awesome. Now the other option is, of course, you could just take the whole thing down, take the whole thing down and yes. rebuild right from scratch. That's but we're just- A lot at work though. And some people could say doing it this way because you're finically trying well, to do I guess it. So, so, you know, to each his own. To each his yeah, own. Yeah, but for if sure. it's a fill, this is exactly how I would do a French fill, except okay. the only difference might be is that a quarter inch or so might be missing because it's grown out. Right. But this, in this case, it's filled in. Right. So we don't have to focus on that so much. We're just All focusing right. on the French line. So I'm going to let you go ahead and finish. Okay, I'm turning over again. Yeah. So. That would kind of be what I would do. Yep. And then I would maybe clean up the edge with a uh, pan file so that I had it all, you know. Um, crispy? Crispy. Yeah. There we that's go. The thing crispy. About crispy edges. Yeah. That's crispy what you want when French. Yeah. Like it's different than the French, uh, pardon me, the um, ombre video we did. It's a very soft, feathered look. Yes. But French is very crispy. Very and crisp sharp. and a nice sharp yes. line. So, yeah. Okay, so grab your file. Okay. What am I doing here? I'm just gonna You're going to grab whichever file you're comfortable with, a medium, fine, or coarse. That's a medium. Yeah, and show me what you do. I'm trying to build that little wall yep. that you talk about. That's right. And then make sure the point or the curve is how I want it. So yep. it's symmetrical as possible. Yeah. Okay. So you did fantastic. Thank you. But whatever you did, we're going to do it deeper. Deeper? Yeah. Okay. Because... This is actually okay, but you're looking at a really thin layer blanket. It's almost like a sheet. Okay. We need more of a comforter depth. Oh, <laughs> That's know my that. analogy. All right. So the number one thing about a French is you want to see the crisp line in the smile mm -hmm. and up to the side, especially because you like that deep smile. I do. So you want to come up to a nice crispy little point on the side. Okay. We're not going to get that crisp so much because this isn't deep enough. And okay. that's usually where a French felt. Now, we're, I'm telling you like some kind of little more advanced skills. Yes. Right? I'm here for advanced skills. Yeah. That's what I'm here we can, for. I think we can go there. <laughs> Please and thank you. So we're going to take the little uh, e-file bit that cut the French and cut bit and go a little bit, not necessarily higher up, but just make it a little bit more deeper because you got to picture the white settling in there. Is it going to be enough? By the time you file, those thin little points are the thinnest. Right. So by the time you file and bring down your structure and try to make it so perfect, you might end up losing a little points. Okay. So if it wants to come like this on your points. The little edge on one might be missing and then you're not going to have an evenness of that little point. You've got a little ledge there. Mm -hmm. If I just put my hand under there, can you see how little of a jump down, little step down? Yeah. That's just a little baby one. We need a, a deeper one. We need a bigger step. And that is following all the way to the pointy sides of that nail too. Okay. So it's just too thin because mm -hmm. I'm afraid that once you pile the product on there and then you file it and shape it, if and you we'll just go a little bit lower, you might dip into your color and you're not going to get the crispiness that you really look for. Cool. So if we go down deeper, we're going to save ourselves being fearful that when we file it, oh, it wasn't deep enough. So we'll go deeper now. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to take the little uh, e-file bit that cut the French cut bit and go a little bit, not necessarily higher up, but just make it a little bit more deeper because you got a picture, the white settling in there, is it going to be enough? By the time you file, those thin little points are the thinnest. Right. So by the time you file and bring down your structure and try to make it so perfect, you might end up losing a little points. Okay. So it wants to come like this on your points. The little edge on one might be missing and then you're not going to have an evenness of that little point. Sorry, so just dig a little found. deeper. Okay. So do you see how much more you got off? Yes, I yeah. do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You keep going till you feel comfortable. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Let's Isn't turn it so? sideways like that. Real strong sideways. Sorry. You can turn that off and put it on. Okay. And we'll put my hand under so you can see that's a much better step you got going there. Thank you. But I will say one thing. Yes. When we are filing this in the end, I'm just thinking a couple steps ahead. Yeah. When we're filing it, we're bringing it down to a nice free edge that's nice and thin. Mm -hmm. It's not deep enough on the free edge. Oh, okay. Because when we bring that blanket over top, it's not actually even enough. And when we come to that point, we're going to want to file it thinner on that end. So, so the deepest point is going to be, here. yep, that's okay. going to, we're going to, we're going to end up going into the, possibly going into it, or it's not going to be deep enough. So I would take the whole free edge down. And that's when you kind of come to a point like, maybe I should have just taken it all off. And that's an option. Sometimes it's quicker. Just it's your working style, yeah. whatever. But we'll do it this way. And this takes a little longer because we're talking, we're stopping and yes. talking and explaining it. So I would take the whole thing down with that bit um, a little bit more so okay. we can get a full coverage blanket on there that's a nice deep enough. This okay? is why I'm here. That's yeah. why I'm here. Okay, fabulous. You've done it. Thank that you. is nice and thin now, so we can get an ample amount of uh, white product on the end there. Okay, so this is the next thing. We're going to turn that thing off. I've turned it off. I've got some bits here for you. I'm going to give you this Ooh. to go with your little e-file. So what you want to do is we just want to, and you can do it with hand too, we're just going to buff the surface of the pink. Okay. Because. Just want to rough it up so that it has an adhesion. That's right, because oh, we're yeah. actually going to add more pink so that it makes the white easy. Okay. When you do a traditional, you put the white on first and you've got to crisp it up. Yes. Then we would put the pink on to line up to the white and then we put a clear on top. Yes. When you do the reverse, reverse. method, which is much smarter. What we learned in the 80s was way more difficult. Why we didn't think of this way before, I don't know why. Okay. But we're doing it now and it's much easier to learn. So you put the pink on first, but you make it higher. And as long as you've got that pink crisp and happy, then you throw on the white any old way you want. And oh. then you'll see the magic happen. It's pretty cool. Okay, so stick this bit in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, can I? No, I'm shaking. Huh? No, I know. It's, it's sometimes <laughs> hard to do. It's awkward. On camera. Mm -hmm. There we go. Especially your opposite hand, right? Okay, so now just gently buff over the whole entire part of the pink. Okay. So just gently go back and forth just to remove that top coat. This is called a safety bit. See how it's got a little bit of a round dome like? Yes, I purchased one of these. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Now you got some more. And now I have another one. So this is to protect your Ooh. cuticle. That's okay, that happens. So you've got your oh, pinky. You're okay. That happens. That's why All you use a safety it. one, because then you right. don't cut yourself. <laughs> That's right. I don't have Susie's skills yet. I don't. It's okay. It's 35 years in. Oh, How could well, you I possibly I match that? I don't have that. Okay. So then put that down. Okay. And now we want to take the file and crisp your line up as exactly where you want it to be. Ooh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So all you're doing at this point is you're just crisping that up to make sure that it's smiling the way you want. Okay. Happy? No, I'm not happy, actually. Why? Because it looks like this one, where the pink is, is not symmetrical with the lineup. Like, my, my points aren't the same. Kate, let me take a look at it this way. My points aren't the same. Um, Are they off? Oh, yeah. It is a little bit. So, 
We're going to correct that. Yes. Okay? okay? Okay. Something you probably can't see as much. So turn it back the way you felt comfortable looking at it. That way. And I'll see if I can do that. Oh, we just need to go that one little side there. And yeah, it's not as off as you'd think. Oh, good. Okay, take a look. Does that make you happy? That's happier. Okay, yes. so all I did was just, just change it. And it's probably you couldn't see it. Because they are very monotone colors. A lot they of the color, are. Yeah. yeah. We they try are. to simulate the natural nail bed. Yeah. So we're dealing with a lot of pink and stuff. So that's probably why you didn't see it. So okay. Yes. Okay. So now we are going to get some product on there. Okay. We're going to start with the pink. Start with the okay. pink. Okay. So give it a little dust. Yeah. A little duster. So grab your little kit there and we're going to grab the bridge. And the that is bridge. bridging the products together. Okay. Yeah. A little green bottle with bridge on it. What's that one? That one's the bridge. There we go. So we're just going to massage. Maybe massage that in and sort of get it into all the pink parts. Don't go into the white parts so much. Okay, Katie, I'm going to give you this darker surface so we can see you what can you're doing. Yeah, then the viewers there can really see there's a Look contrast. That. Yeah, there that's way go. better. All right. Okay, so put your um, bridge on. The bridge. And this is just going on the pink. Yes, just the pink part. Okay, just the pink. And you don't have to go to the cuticle so much. We've already filled that. Oh, so. we've already done yeah, that. Yeah, just focus on that um, three quarters of the way up. And yeah, that's great. That it? Mm, yep. Nuke it for 60. And then I nuke it. All right. Oh. 60. Okay. So the, what we're going to do next is we're going to raise the pink to prepare for putting on the white. And we can just do it randomly or whatever. If we make the pink higher mm -hmm. and crisp, then by the time you throw the white on, it doesn't matter where the white goes. Now, as you get more refined at this, you'll be more specific of where you put the pink and how much you put in, and then you'll probably get more specific with your white. Ooh. But as you're learning, this is a great way to do it and get a really crisp line. So okay. we're going to add the pink just as you have on there. We're not going to focus on the cuticle because you're pretty good there, but we're going to make sure this area right here nice where the pink wall. is, is higher. Okay. So go twice as high as the depth that you have. So let's turn it sideways. See the height that you have created, mm -hmm. the depth there, the step down. We're going to double that, and we're going to add right here on that pink oh, to make it a okay. higher wall, a higher cliff. I'm making the wall yeah. of China, and that's what yes, we're doing. That's Great what wall doing. of China, yeah, that's what that's we're what doing. We're doing. All right. So we're just going to add it right there, and then we're going to cure it, and then we're going to crisp it. So okay. go ahead. Here we go. Let's see. I'm, now I'm nervous. Now <laughs> well, it's okay, nervous. but you don't have to be with a hypergel. Everybody thinks calls it polygel, which is a brand. I don't know if you know that. Oh, is that but, why I'm yeah, saying it wrong? That's right. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, actually a brand. So polygel is a brand. Hypergel is, is the product. The product. Oh, yeah. okay. Now yeah. I know. And Easy Gel is Susie's. Easy Gel is Susie's. So it doesn't matter if there's no rush. You don't have to hurry. That's Whatever you I do, like it. it can be. It doesn't cure until you're ready to cure it. So In the you lights. don't have to worry. In yeah. The lights. I like that. That's right. So all you're doing is focusing in that you're copying the exact same thing you've already created with the smile on and the shape. You're going to follow that groove and that crispness, and we'll crisp it up with the file too once we right. once we cure it. All we're doing is following that paint by number, you might say. We're just raising it. Okay. I will say it's very different than doing it at home alone. Yeah. Because I got to watch all the angles. Yeah. Cameraman's going. <laughs> the hair is in the way. I am polite when I ask. You yes. are always polite, Karen. Sometimes you'll just yell at me, hair. Because well, <laughs> I do it so yeah. much, right? You guys are married. I'm not married That's right. to camera. I'm allowed. <laughs> I'm right. Remember? We talked about that. <laughs> he signed up for it. <laughs> he did. He did. So. That's pretty good. Is that pretty yeah, good? Yeah. So I would just um, flatten out the cuticle area. A okay. Bit. That's I was what just I was looking for massage, but that's not the right word. We just want to blend. I wondered. I wondered that's about that. The I'm word. Just to blend. feather it out a little bit. So, so and you don't have to because we can file it, but. It makes it a little easier. Yeah. If you do all the prep stuff before and then yeah. file later as much as we can. Very good. You're getting to be like a little camera pro there. Well, I try. Well, that's how we know each other. Cameraman is best friends with my cameraman. I'm not married that's to my right. cameraman. I'm not married. He's just my friend. But you're married to your cameraman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's how we know each other. It's um, cheap labor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that good? Do it I is it? actually pretty good. Yep. Okay. So what I would just say, is one, one thing you could do is mm. I would just maybe go in and just, you know how that little special angle yes. you did in the other video? Just go in and sort of flatten that flatten a little that. like that. Yeah. Okay. Just do that. Because you're very good at that. Oh, thank you. I do try. Yep. That's it. 
It's really just pushing the product around. You're just telling it where to go. You're the yeah. boss. It's just waiting for you to tell it where to go. That's it is. It's so it nice self level and easy to use, which yeah. I like. Very easy to use. Okay. So let's get a look at the free edge and make sure, maybe turn it sideways and see if you're pretty on par. And see, Yeah, it's not bad. Are you happy with that? I think so. That looks pretty good. Okay. So I like I it. it. Yep. Let me just get a closer up look because I'm just, yeah, that's pretty good. I would just take this little bead right here and just flatten it so it's right to the edge so we can get a real crisp on that. Okay. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a slight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now right, take right. a look at it sideways. See what I mean? Oh, you see that? Yes, it's, it's crispy. Very good. Nuke it. It's very. Oh, can I do yeah. this though? You can do what you want. Just feather that. Yeah. Nuke it. That's pretty. Okay, now I'm nuking. Here yeah. we go. Okay, I'm gonna remove this for a little bit. Okay. Now you're gonna bring it out and you're gonna remove the sticky layer because we're gonna crisp it up. Okay. okay. We're removing the sticky layer. Yeah. And Where you just don't want to crisp it up with the sticky layer on because you might gum up your file. Well, I always get uh, hairs in it. Yeah, that I, too. Yeah. So remove the sticky. Remove now, all we're doing is crisping it up. This is what you did before. We're just crisping it up one more time before we slap the white Oh, with on. the file? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Whatever yeah. file you feel comfortable All right. With. And we'll do that. Yeah, that's quite a bit thicker than I would have done mm -hmm. it. But so. it might not be that thick when we're finished. No, it we won't just want to have that that high. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll do one more layer of bridge on the free edge. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we did that in two different sections is because we would now have a bunch of dust in it if we did the free edge now, right. when you did it before. So now we're going to do it now. Okay. So just do the free edge, massage it in there, and nuke it for 60. Yeah, I think I did. And just give it a nuke. Okay, so here's you put your little tube under there to balance your finger. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and grab your white. Okay. And get a, an ample size bead. It doesn't really matter. Get whatever size bead you want, actually. Whatever size bead. Well, I gotta look yeah. at it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I might have a little bit more, actually. There we go. So the beauty of this is now that we have built the wall and you've made it thick enough and you've crisp it to where you want, you can put it anywhere, all over, yeah. as long as it's in every place you want it to be, right up to the sides and in your French part and just slap it on, even on top of the pink. I, it's almost like I'm I'm building a brick wall and putting all the, the mortar in it. Yeah, Kinda. that's right, because yeah. you'll clean it up later. Or grout. Yeah. Is it grout? That's right. You just stick that grout in and you clean it all up. And, there like, go. and when you get rid of it all, it reveals the beautiful. That's my favorite part. That's right. Are we ready? So we're going to slam it in there any which way you want. Just get it in there completely. Okay. Are we ready, cameraman? Yeah, go for it. Okay. You're calling him cameraman, too? That's funny. Well, that's his name. Yeah. That's how everybody knows. Yeah. He's cameraman. All right. Oh, I keep forgetting that the right is on the is other on the end. Other I'll end. do that too. And now I've forgotten my little paper. Hang oh on. yeah, I need my little not, paper. No problem. Okay. People have messaged me and said, "Do you call cameraman that when you like, like here's your dinner or oh, you know, take the not. garbage out?" He <laughs> just wants some anonymity. No, I don't call him cameraman. We're not, you know, using the camera. <laughs> He's just, it's but I can see why one might think that because that's all you see here. So cute. But I have called him his real name several times when we're doing this. <laughs> I've never heard it though. No, because we cut it out. Yeah, you heard, yeah, you cut it out. I don't call cameraman cameraman. I do know his yes, first name. Yes, of course. Because I, because I know you. Well, personally. that's how you met was when he came up and shot the video for that's you. That's right. Yeah. yeah, he sure did. I have, I have two music videos out. I YouTube. knew you had two. I have two. I have. Are a you third. planning another one? Well, I have a third one already filmed, but it's not released yet because oh, yeah. I have I have a fourth album coming out. Okay, soon enough. Have you edited it and done all that? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. I still have to. It's I work. Still have to get it. Yes, it's work. it's work. We used to do music videos. So I know I get you did. It. I didn't do those music videos though. No, you didn't. You didn't do different bands. I think right. Oh, you did. Was... No, you did Live Edge one. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. I thought your new ones, though. No, but the new ones you didn't. No, the new ones is your friend, cameraman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna put a little bit more right there. 
This way. There we go. Now remember, you don't have to dig it into the side. You can flop it right over the top. I can flop it? Yeah, you can oh, put it see, everywhere I'm on that free used edge. used to doing the other way. Yeah, don't worry about that part. You just okay. literally slam it on and every way. So you just pile it on and we'll file it out later. In You're fact, making it too easy. That, it's too it's easy It's supposed to be now. easy. We're going to make it easy. way easier than the way I was <laughs> doing it. That's right. The other way is harder. This is why I came. Yeah, it's, it's way more skill to do it's it the way, other way. Yeah. I mean, I've mastered it. And so many have. But it's hard to but do. why bother doing all that extra when, when this, this looks just as good? And it's easier. Yeah. So slap it on everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because before I would really have to yeah, dig don't do in that. and mm -hmm. make sure my smile line yeah. was exactly how I wanted it to be. And to be. be honest with you, I love doing that. It's, oh, it's so fun. It's fun. But, but it's also time consuming. Yeah. Like it's really, And it's really also time reflective of your mood. I have literally sat down and been so into doing it and I just that day my fingers weren't working with my mood and you just can't get it right like very even, much so yeah and so that's why if you see me and I have a solid color on my nails it's because I'm kind of being lazy if you wanted the French and that's what you did but French isn't really well it's coming back now it's coming back I like it I do love this ombre that we did the mm -hmm. other day I like yeah. this French ombre very that's pretty. on right now yeah all right I think I think that's it I don't know yeah Okay, we just make sure it's everywhere, and then if we feel like it's everywhere, then we can nuke that baby. I would just put a little bit more right there. Right there? Just to make sure it's high enough. Yeah. Okay. I err on the side of having too much because you can always file it off. You can always add, but it's always a pain to have to go back and add, especially if you put everything away because you do usually because of the dust. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm blocking shots or not now. No, no, that's good. Okay, and just move slow and just sort of pat and... Yeah, that looks good. Is that it then? Okay, let's take a look at the whole thing. Oh, I'm got. Yeah. It's wonky. It's wonky. It's no, a little It's wobbly. supposed to be wonky. That's okay. You're right. allowed to be. Yeah, it looks like you got it to me. Okay, nuke it. Nuke it. Okay, Katie, you want to remove that sticky layer and then we can start filing that and reveal the French line. Okay, file away. And now I'm filing. This is a new drill, and so I'm not quite used. Like driving a different car, yeah. you have mm -hmm. to get yeah. used just to get it. Used a little bit. Let's make a new sweat, Susie. Make a new sweat. <laughs> it does because you're not sure if the line is going to be crispy enough until you reveal it, and then once you do, you're like, "Oh, I did it!" So you don't really know until you file it all up. So I just want to prepare you. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm <laughs> Good. Perfect. We, no. That's how we learn, and then you'll know for more next time. Every time you make a mistake, it's not really a mistake. It shouldn't be called a mistake, it's really. It's just learning. Yeah. It's, every time you make a learn, <laughs> no, it's I a like step that. You closer. make a learn. Yeah. Make You're a step learn. closer. And sometimes along that journey, you actually discover new things. That, or, a, or something you want to try, and you'll discover something different. Yeah. So it's really good to have that journey. It really can expand your I still skills. feel like I have so much product on there. You don't feel like you have no, so I much do. on there? No, I do. Okay, yeah. I feel like I yeah, have you a do. lot on right you do. now. And I think we're going to file down. Now, here's the scary part. We're getting close to the end now. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look. See? See what's happening? Do you see it? It's coming. Do you see your line coming up? It's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're taking quite a bit off now. Yeah, so I think I would change my bit. Yep. This exactly, is a very heavy bit. Exactly, that's what I was going to suggest. So what we're going to do is get you the sanding bit, and that's going to take a little less because we don't need to take much more away now. You're almost there. Yes. Let's get you some little sanding bits. So we're going to, I've got medium and fine and coarse in here, and you can use... Of course, maybe it's going to take off too much problem. Let's get the medium. Let's get the medium. Yeah. And I would actually, if it were me, I would actually clean up my edges with my... Do it uh, now then. Okay. Yeah, if you want to do it, do it. You're developing your own style. What's this? That's fine. I don't want fine. I would do more of a coarse one. I right? would do medium. You would do medium? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She would yeah. do medium. Yeah. See, this is why we're here. And it's really good that you're doing that because you're determining the shape and the look before you go down anymore. Yes. That's good. I'm trying to get the even layer. Now I'm going to turn it over. Okay. 
Now, for those watching it, ever how long this edit turns out to be, it seems like a long time for one nail. It does. But we are learning and we're talking through it. And that's really what adds a lot of time to it. And the more and more you do it, the quicker you'll get at it. And the less you'll have to make it super high and pile it all in. Yes. You'll, you'll do the depth that you're looking for. And then when you do the white, you'll do it much more crispy. And then there's less filing. And that's how you start to shave off your time. Everything gets better. So you take less lo time to do each task. Absolutely. Look at right. that. That's great. Okay. Let's take a look at it this way. Okay. That looks really good, but I changed my mind. I don't think you're ready for the medium. I think you're ready for the fine to oh. give it a little bit more of a finish. I think okay. you're almost done. Yeah. You're almost done. So put this bag boy in there. Okay. And all we're doing with this one is we're just gently going around the cuticles, buffing over the whole thing to get a nice, smooth, even finish. Right. We're not taking off too much as we are more shaping it. Right. Or just smoothing it. Okay. And I would go about a four or five. Oh, a four or yeah. five. Yeah, you don't need to go too high. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one little tip. Mm. Look down the barrel of it. Yes. Okay, so if you look down the barrel, what do you see? Well, we're in the wrong... Where Here we go. I see. I got a little thickness on that right. side. Okay. So when you take the angle of it, take the fi file and just... Yep, that that's way? It. Yeah. And sort of bring it around, curve it into the front. Like that? Yeah, and go that way. This way. Yeah, that's it. And don't roll over so much. You want to take this more away on this side, but leave the top. Oh, okay. Don't want to flatten the top anymore. You do that a few times. Now, you see that what happened on the side there? Did you see how you took it in this way a bit? Yeah. Okay. Now, did you need to do that on that side? I don't know. Do I? Let me get a better look. Actually, not really. No. Just a little bit more on this side. It's a little thick there. Okay. So just keep, really keep that angle this like way. that. Yep. Okay. That's it. And then every few strokes, take a look at it. And see if you like it. And if you're like, it could go a little more narrower. It's really a choice. Let me see. That's pretty good so see this point right here right this there. is getting really picky we probably don't have to add this part but okay now stop and do just give me that e-file for a sec mm -hmm. just do the end a little bit it's just a little thick on the end just take it off the end like this a little bit because mm -hmm. we want to bring it to let's take a look at another finger see that we kind of want to bring it down to a little bit more it's harder to see because it's not a full white yes but we want to bring it down to a little bit of a point we don't want a thick end like that no. so we just want to gently not much not much just going back and forth just on the end perfect Ooh, look I at that. Can, i'll just let you feel it you don't have to take okay. off too much more it's just a little finessing yeah just you to know get it, just a little just bit to get it perfect yep. okay put it away okay and now we're going to top coat. Already? Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. <laughs> See, that's an initiation. Now you just have to drop a box of tips and you're a full-fledged nail I've done tip. that already. Well, then you're there. And then I spent 45 <laughs> minutes trying to find a little teeny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always fun. Yeah. Okay. So we want to get the tube. Let's get the tube. Oh, the tube. Yeah. Find your top coat. It's inside your kit. Oh, and here we go. And you just need one coat of this stuff. This is your and I's favorite part. I think it's everybody's favorite part. Yeah, the reveal section. I love putting it on there, especially when you've got lots of di different designs and colors and dimensions in there and layers. Love it. Too much fun. Too much fun. Great. Okay, so we'll just nuke that. Okay, that looks so good. Okay, so you can give it a little bit of oil and massage okay. it in there. That's always a great finishing look. So we are now finished. You're doing your first reverse French. Thank you. And the one reason why I included that soft white in the kit doing ombres, it's amazing, because the whiter you get in your white, the more the more better. I'm sure that's a phrase. Is that, a, is that proper English? I'm sure it is. Okay, we're going to go with it. The more better you got to be because the white is, any deep color is really going to show that yes. crisp line. So if you have a soft white like this, more you can forgiving. get away. Yes, more absolutely. forgiving. Absolutely. Yeah. And it looks beautiful. It looks it very natural. It's get a look lovely. at that. It's just gorgeous. Quite like it. So it's very, very soft. So the whiter you get, the more better you got to be. Right. <laughs> I'm sure that, never an English teacher, thank goodness. <laughs> 
Okay. So you did a fantastic job. Thank you. And how do you like it? How did you feel about that whole experience? I loved it. I really loved it. It's way easier than doing it the other Mm -hmm. way. Um, Because as you say, you don't have to be quite as precise. You can... More forgiving for learning. Yeah. And what you can also do if you want to try little different colors, you can get the mica. I should give you some mica. Ooh. And you can add colors in it and maybe add a little pink in there and oh, give, make your free edge different colors. It's always fun to do something I like that. that. So That's if you want to catch Katie doing more videos, she did the ombre and you did, did. What did we do in the first one? Oh. Oh. It was so it was long ago. It was yesterday. It was the greenies. It was the greenies. The greenies. Great video. And you can also catch on. Give you a little plug for her music. I do. Where can we find you? And you music? can find me on anywhere you stream music. Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube Music. And I have two music videos out on YouTube. And if you want to talk to me directly, you can do so on TikTok. I'm it's there every day. It's a shame day. you're just not shy in front of the camera. I'm not shy. No. no. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank Thanks, you for Katie. having me. <laughs> Thanks.